officially the worst start in New York Knicks basketball history. This team right here, I mean, I know y'all want to see me snap, man. I can't snap. I'm a little under the weather. But, uh, this team right here, man, I'm going to say something. I'm kind of on my Charles Barkley stuff right now. I don't really care what people think. Uh, some people are going to love it. Some people are going to agree. Some people are going to kiss my ass. But I'm going to say this. And, I'm a, and I know I'm going to hear all kind of stuff about it. But Mike Woodson wasn't the problem. It's evident. Mike Woodson was not the problem. He was some. He was some of the problem. Burning Mello out, playing a whole bunch of him, a whole bunch of minutes. He was. He did. He made a couple of bad decisions. But as I compare last year's team and this year's team, Mike Woodson wasn't the problem. The New York Knicks. Players, they're the problem. They are the problem. Stoudemire, I thought I'd never... Stoudemire, you are the M... If there is an MVP for a four-win team, you are the MVP of the New York Knicks right now. I want somebody to disagree with me. Because right now, he's the only player playing with some heart. I can't figure out for the life of me, in the fourth quarter, why Jose Calderon is not touching this basketball every possession in the fourth quarter. Jose Calderon is one of the best decision-making point guards in the NBA, people. He is one of the best decision-making point guards in the league, his assist to turnover ratio is bar none tops in the league. But for some reason, Shane Larkin has the ball in every game, or is a close game, in the closing minutes of the fourth quarter. Not understanding. I cannot figure this out for nothing. <sighs> you know... These guys here, man, they just don't play well together. There's too many talented people. I when I say talented people, you gotta figure out what I'm you gotta understand what I'm saying. When I say talented people, I'm saying people that have actual game. I'm not saying all stars and like that, but there's people on the Knicks that have actual game. But guess what? They are not team players. It's evident, man. They're not team players, man. The New York Knicks suck, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just call it like we see it. The New York Knicks, they suck. They suck. They suck. It's coming up almost a year of the video I made that started this whole stuff. You know, I think I remember, I think I made it December 13th, December 14th of last year. It's coming up on a year. And you know what's happened since that? We've gotten worse. We've gotten worse, people. The New York Knicks, I'm quoting Stephen A, or oh, abomination of themselves. The New York Knicks are the worst team in the NBA. I said it, man. The, NBA, the New York Knicks are the worst team in the NBA. Why? I'll tell you why. People say are the Knicks tanking. No, the Knicks are not tanking. Let's stop all this tanking mess. They're worse than teams who tank. You know why? Because teams who tank don't try to win. These sorry individuals known as the New York Knicks are trying to win. And they're not. That's what makes them sorry. That's what makes them worse than the Philadelphia 76ers. Even though Philly's won one out of 18 games played, they are worse than Philly because Philly is trying every night on the court. They don't have the talent on the bench, but they're trying every night. 
why are they one in seventeen or whatever? That's because they don't have talent on their squad, and their front office has set them up for failure. The New York Knicks have worked to try to get pieces. They've made free agent moves. They've signed people. They've brought people in. They're trying to win, and I'm. That 17-game losing streak for Philadelphia to start the season, guess what? The Knicks are only three games better than them. Let's listen to it again. The Philadelphia 76ers started off losing their first 17 games of the season. The New York Knicks are only three games better than Philly. The New York Knicks are the worst team in basketball, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care what the records say. Body of work, effort, New York Knicks are the worst team in basketball. Knicks fans, you are naive and out your mind if you think otherwise. I'm not saying fire Dave Fisher. I'm not saying fire anybody. I'm just saying the New York Knicks are the worst team in the National Basketball Association. Period. Point blank period. How do you have a hundred million dollar player on your team and he plays for the worst team in the league? How how does that happen? How does that happen? How does that happen? Everybody's entitled to a bad night. But when you are a hundred million dollar player playing for the worst team in the league, you better fire that basketball up. I've never seen a New York Knicks team not go to the free throw line like these bums. We shoot too many jumpers and we don't go to the hole enough. Aren't we last in the NBA in free throw shooting? I wonder why. Tim Hardaway, you had a hell of a first quarter. What was you at for the other three? What? Did, did Shumper play tonight? Oh. Good day. Call her on. I had you on my fan duel and you did nothing. I mean, somebody helped Stat out. I thought I'd never say this. Somebody helped Stoudemire out. The New York Knicks is the, are the worst team in the league. And if my memory serves me correct, I think I just made this video without saying one cuss word. The Knicks suck so bad, I got saved. Because I didn't cuss this whole video. The Knicks suck so bad, I got saved. The Knicks are the worst team in the league. And you're dumb to think otherwise. Knicks fans, you're dumb to think otherwise. Melo went 4 for 19. 4 for 19. Four for 19. I think Tim Hardaway shot 19 shots in the first quarter alone. No, four for 19. Every time Kyrie Irving comes to the garden, it's like, woohoo, Uncle Drew. Uncle Drew is back in MSG. <sighs> well, I'm going to go to sleep because I have to work tomorrow, y'all. But uh, when I wake up, I know one thing. Tomorrow, the Knicks will still be the worst team in the NBA. <sighs> y'all remember me throwing a hat in the snow and throwing the Jordans outside. I have worn, worn no Nick apparel since that day. No Knicks apparel since that day. Maybe I need to start wearing Knicks apparel. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in New York sports. I thought it was going to be a short video, but just, you know, random stuff just keeps popping up. New York sports is atrocious. I got tickets to go see the Giants this weekend in Nashville to see the Titans. Homeboy, you got free tickets to go. We got tickets to go to the game. I'm not going. I'm not going. Why? Because I'm not wasting my gas, which is low right now. Thank you. The New York Giants aren't worth the premium gas I put in my car. To go see this some bitches. They're not worth it. I'd be damned if I had to fill my car up to go see the New York Giants. Probably throw away a game against Tennessee. 
to come back up here to be pissed about it. Mm-mm. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. The New York Knicks come up here on January 29th to Indianapolis and again on March 4th. I have surgery on January 15th. I'm sitting here thinking, when am I? I should be okay to go to that game. I'll be on crutches. I'm going to go to the game. And if I go to the game, if I'm well enough to go to the game, it'll be a replica of, of last year when I went to the Pacers Nick game. Remember me sitting and cussing all the Knicks out? Oh, it's going to be worse than that. Because this is officially the worst Knicks team in history. <sighs> I don't want to hear people talking about triangle offense. Because there's no triangle out there. It's a hexagon. It's the hexagon offense. That's what it is. The hexagon offense. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm the lost words, people. Um, <laughs> yeah. Nick suck.